The new off-Broadway drama, CQCX, brings the Jason Blair plagiarism scandal that rocked the New York Times to the stage. We're here at the Peter Norton space to get all the juicy details from the celebrated cast and creative team. So, for the three people who don't know, who is Jason Blair and what did he do? Uh, Jason Blair was a reporter who worked for the New York Times who resigned in an infamous scandal. He was accused of plagiarism and fabricating stories and a number of other journalistic offenses. I mean, we're dealing with uh, the, no the notion of uh, an American or certainly a, a New York institution in the New York Times, you know, the news that's fit to print, so to speak, kind of the uh, gold standard of reporting. Um, and you have someone in the midst of that who actually existed for five years and managed to hoodwink everybody. When they're coming into the theater, they probably think they're going to get the Jason Blair story, but I do think um, it's more, uh, in the abstract, a story about standards and, and uh, truth and legacy and holding up something that's really precious to you and then having somebody come in from the outside and try to undermine what that means. Now, you were in the newsroom when that happened. Yeah, like, I was in the newsroom. I knew Jason. <laughs> I, uh, WTF, what was that like? like what, <laughs> <laughs> how well, WTF. Uh, exactly. Uh, it was uh, one of the more dramatic experiences of my life. It was, uh, you know, uh, yeah, a lot of people at the Times devote their, you know, lifetimes to that newspaper and they take a great deal of uh, pride in, earth, in their journalistic ethics and to have somebody so blatantly and repeatedly uh, undermine those. Um, it hurt a lot of people and I thought it was a very dramatic subject at the time and I thought well maybe one day that could be something. How does it feel to play someone like ripped from the headlines? Is, what is that experience like? Uh, well it's, it's very interesting there's a lot of source material to draw upon as an actor which is always uh, a benefit and uh, it's it's an, an issue and a character and a story that people are, are interested in so it's it's exciting to participate in something that you there's a sense that people want to want to know about and want to, to, to see a story about. I know that uh, I've never seen a play that says accurate or um, uh, in, in, of what a newsroom is like, regardless of what others say. Um, it's a it's a keyhole a look into what it like it's like to work at the New York Times, the pressures, the expectations, and those that rise and those that fall to those expectations. Why should people come see this show? Because it's a it's a, a very popular theme. The New York Times is a very very popular newspaper. In case nobody knew that. As one of the characters says, it's the first thing the president reads in the morning. If the newspaper does lose its credibility, it's done, it's finished. So, And it's also a story of how the Times deals with new things that's coming along, like radio, like television, like the internet. It's the story of the New York Times that was you know, shaken and rebuked by the scandal, and the story of, the, of America that was shaken and rebu rebuked by 9-11 and the series of wars we've been in. And uh, and, and because of that, it's, it's a much broader story than the story of one individual and one scandal. It's about what we as a country do when uh, we're not sure we are who we were yesterday. What I love about this place, it doesn't back away from that. It really has the dialogue that we keep talking about having, but we don't really want to do. Put in the mix um, race, um, nationality, culture, uh, orientation, um, it, it can become rather explosive.